say I want to buy a David Bowie hamster. Yes. How do I go about buying an NFT? NFTs, crypto and Bitcoin are everywhere. But what if like me, you've never traded any in your life? To be honest, the whole crypto world was giving me a headache. So I set out to learn what all the fuss is about. NFTs are a massive part of the crypto world, whether it's board apes, fine art or football clubs. But I still don't really get what they are. Is it all digital or is it in the real world too? To find out, I went to an NFT art gallery in London to speak to its co-founder, Josh. So Josh, we've got the queen here and it says digital NFT. Yes. So what actually is an NFT? An NFT, put simply, is a certificate of ownership. Much like you have in the art world, um, when someone buys a physical painting, they'll get a certificate of authenticity and ownership. It shows, you know, and it's signed by the artist what they bought um, and it verifies that it is real. A lot of objections to it, you know, people say, can't I just copy and paste and save this picture? And of course people can do that, but the important bit with it is that they lack the actual certificate to show that they own it. It's like Cleopatra, Einstein, yeah. Mr. T, yeah. Michael Jackson. Right now it's sort of split into two categories. The first, which are the more popular projects and you get all the headlines about Bored Apes. You're buying into a brand. The art is almost secondary in nature. On the other token, you're having sort of the fine art industry getting involved. There's a pool of collectors who like a piece, and if there's only one of that piece, then the value increases. How do I go about buying an NFT? Go to something like OpenSea, which is a huge NFT marketplace. Um, there's other places like Nifty Gateway, and uh, they're, they're allowing you to just use your debit or credit card. You can also buy with crypto if you have crypto holdings. Just on social media and stuff, you hear about people saying, oh, I lost loads of money on NFTs, or I've made loads of money on NFTs. Like, how does that whole world of trading them work? For me personally, and for anyone who asks my advice, I always say, you know, you need to have a look at who the brand is, what they're doing, are they over-promising something? It's almost similar to the way I would look at a stock in some, some instances. NFTs are part of the football world now too. In the next video, I'll be finding out how crypto's involved in the beautiful game.